couple of years ago in the Judiciary Committee, we were having a hearing about sexual assault. Um, and in a hearing where people who represent all of the people of the state, whether we see it as a women's issue or not, they're wrong, but if we saw it that way, still represent those women, the people testifying before the committee question, why would you need to extend the uh, statute of limitations? You know, why, why don't these people come forward in a certain period of time? And that was bad enough. But then they went on to actually laugh at the people. And I took a look around the room. And uh, as I looked around the room, I could see people and their reaction to it. And something that I realized at that point was that those people weren't going to be able to address that behavior. And as I sat there listening to the testimony, I recognized that nobody on the committee was going to address that behavior as well. Now, I happen to understand that issue of sexual assault. Because when I was a child, I was sexually assaulted. I never told anybody at that point, except for my ex-wife. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what do you do? Because they're questioning why people don't say anything. And they're questioning the validity of people's true experience, and I've never told anybody for multiple reasons, as anybody who's experienced this knows. I'm scared. But I'm looking at the people in the audience, and I'm like, they can't speak. So I took a leap and I spoke. And it's amazing what happened when I spoke. People paid attention. And unfortunately, I don't think they paid attention just because it was a man speaking. I think they paid attention because I had power. I think they paid attention because they were afraid of what would happen if they didn't respect my experience. That's unfortunate. That in our society, it takes that for people to pay attention. So I've always been a supporter of these issues because I know quite well what it does to a person. I know it's all because I was afraid that I actually thought I was protecting my family. Thought my mother, who, you know, she tries to protect her children, that it was devastating, she found out. So I thought I was protecting her. And then later I realized that the type of woman that I was interested in looked very much like the woman who assaulted me. Started questioning whether I wanted that. And it went on and it went on and it went on extremely valid reasons why people don't tell. And by the way, it's none of your damn business why people don't tell. Mm -hmm. So, we have work to do. And I'm proud to stand with you as we do that work. Thank you. Mm -hmm.